The Jasmine price is absolutely booming towards the upside. We've seen it surge 29% in just the last few days alone. However, there's a lot of things that are circulating on Twitter that I want to address, both positive and negative about Jasmine and the future impact they're going to have on the price, because it's extremely important that you understand this if you think whether or not Jasmine is a good investment. So do me a favor, hit the like button and let's dive into today's video. Now guys, we can see that Jasmine was obviously falling and I told you that I was buying in this area up here that I identified as the buy zone. Uh, we did get a few bounces, although we broke down through and I then told you that if it would break one buy zone. We could identify the next one. We get some sideways movement here. It was fairly evident that we were going to get bounces in here. And in my inner circle discord, I told you that Ajax bouncing out of its buy zone. This is Ocean Protocol bouncing around 30% out of its buy zone. So it's fairly evident that Jasmine is obviously booming with the rest of the crypto market. But I want to address something that comes on Twitter. Now, despite addressing this in a Jasmine video I made before, a lot of people seem to believe that Jasmine is still a scam. Bearing in mind that the CEO of Jasmine, this guy Hara, has put himself on stage at various different events. If Jasmine is in fact a scam, it would be pretty obvious that he would get absolutely destroyed for it. So I was like, well, how destroyed? Bear in mind, Japan's a fairly strict country. I decided to ask perplexity.ai, which is sort of like chat GPT, but more recent, the ultimate jail sentence that you could get for a financial fraud in Japan, up to 10 years. Do you reckon that this guy is gonna be putting his face all over every billboard with Jasmine risking her 10 years in prison? It's just weird. I don't I don't know what's happened that got these guys so butthurt but people keep asking me over and over watch this video i've got about jasmine this is what will address the previous issues that kind of decided whether or not it was a scam or not i don't think it's a scam okay and as we jump back to the jasmine chart a lot of the times every time it kind of like it pumps it was like oh jasmine's a scam so all they do is they just sell it and it dumps guys this is literally what's happened in every cryptocurrency recently okay every crypto has been low Jasmine looks exactly the same as HBAR. In fact, HBAR looks much worse than Jasmine right now. So stop just giving yourself this narrative that it's a scam, I lost my money because someone else did something wrong. The only thing that went wrong is that you invested in a coin and you couldn't handle it when it went to the downside. So as we look across to Jasmine Twitter, which is probably the most aggressively well-posted Twitter out there, uh, we can see a few guys chatting about what's been going on in Jasmine recently. Yanis Lev Ilyev posted a lot on Twitter. I've checked into this guy. He seems to be pretty legit. Uh, tells us that 20,000 Jasmine PCs have been sold in the last month. We've had an update from the CEO going in support of a carbon neutral challenge going on for Jasmine. But something else has caught my eye and it's this, okay? I don't know why this is being posted today, uh, 15 hours ago by James West. I think he might be a YouTuber, I'm not sure. Um, on the 4th of April, 2022, I don't know why this piece of news is being brought up today. If there's a big reason significantly why this piece of news is being brought up today, then put it down in the comments below. But I want to talk about this, guys, because you know I'm invested in Jasmine. I know that Jasmine is solid, but this is a very important post. And I'm just kind of weirded out why it's like over a year late or why everyone's getting raging about it now. Now, Beejit is a uh, company that consults Google, okay? And has been consulting Google for the last year or so, the last 14 months, in fact, ever since this post. Um, and Beejit is a partner with Jasmine. Now, as we all know, Jasmine works in data. So this is obviously an extremely important partnership because Google is obviously, you know, one of the biggest companies, in fact, in the entire world, and also relies quite heavily on data. Now. Whether or not this partnership with Jasmine would be kind of like valuable for Google or not, you know, is yet to be seen. Now, one thing I want to address is the kind of like overhyped positivity sometimes in this Twitter. It's obviously good, good to have like motivation and people excited about what happens in Jasmine. But realistically, does it really matter that Jasmine is partnering up with a project that is partnered with Google? Google makes most of its money from cloud services and from data and these different things like that. Jasmine would basically take away that and kind of moves away uh, into a decentralized version of this. Google doesn't want to do that, guys. It's basically the opposite of what Google wants to do because it would cost some money. Tell me if I'm wrong down below. Obviously, take a deep breath before you write it. I know there's a lot of people very, very emotionally attached to Jasmine, and that can be a little bit of a problem. Now, I have talked about in previous videos I've made that when you get completely emotionally attached to a project, whether you think it's good or bad, then, you know, it can tend to affect your opinions on something. Uh, and that can be a bit dangerous because it doesn't allow us to then 
focus on the actual information and the detail. Jasmine is a cool project. I like it. I'm invested. That is where it ends for me, okay? I'm interested in learning more about it and understanding where it's going to go. But I don't get upset and butt hurt if someone tells me that Jasmine is a scam. I just kind of think it's a bit weird. I just want to understand why people think that. I don't get upset if someone tells me that Jasmine is going to go to zero. It doesn't bother me in any way, and it shouldn't bother you. If it does bother you, have a breather, guys. It's just a digital currency, digital coin. It doesn't mean anything, okay, other than a vehicle for making money. Um, so let's have a look down below. But that's, but you know, that's my kind of two cents on that. Now, what we've got that's very interesting in Jasmine is obviously uh, this pattern that's been uh, playing out here. Now, this area through here. It's kind of like a low that I wasn't really anticipating getting into. However, this represents what we'll call liquidity. Uh, and this previously was probably the bottom. Okay, but we got into an area where we found and soaked up some liquidity. So right now, Jasmine remains still in a very good buy position. In my opinion, I could be wrong. Do your own research. But, you know, if you weren't buying Jasmine down here, then, you know, still not a bad time in my opinion to be buying. Now, I covered this in an earlier video uh, I made about HBAR, which make sure you check out, guys. And I was talking about the probability of Bitcoin continuing to at least around 34K, in my opinion, being almost certain, dangerous thing to say. But, you know, I've been calling this Bitcoin bottom ever since uh, last week, saying that we would bounce here. And I've told you over and over again. And you can see in my inner circle discord, this was the 9th of June. I said to everyone it was going to bounce here. I was even calling this a buy zone back on the 6th of june okay so about three weeks ago i was telling you that it was going to bounce in this area while everyone was worrying about what the sec was saying also guys if you want to get into my discord it's linked down below in the description it's nine dollars 99 per month in there there's so much information being shared all the time people chatting asking questions there's an ico zone where we're talking about the latest icos that are being launched we're also doing trading signals using kucoin for trading different cryptos each and every day so just get in the link down below in the description nine dollars 99 per month and as i've already showed you with all these coins guys if you had jumped into those coins with me you would definitely be making more than ten dollars a month it's like two cups of coffee it's three cups of coffee wherever you are in the world no brainer get into it guys okay so understanding the bitcoin is going to continue to push what does that mean for jasmine well in my opinion in the next sort of few months or so because jasmine is a smaller market cap coin okay it does sit around kind of 100 or 150 something like that I'm not sure exactly where it is today uh i do anticipate that jasmine is going to be pumping back up towards uh this level up here okay 78 percent now what happens in this zone obviously depends again on what happens in bitcoin but you would easily identify this uh, as a very important downtrend for jasmine now what i can see is potentially moving into this area finding some resistance perhaps uh, and bouncing around because it's a slightly smaller market cap coin it will move a little bit slower compared with bitcoin initially i think once we get into altcoin season however jasmine is moving for a very exciting time now i know that a lot of people are saying oh well jasmine's got a market cap that can go uh, all the way up uh, to seeing a coin price of something like one dollar per coin now let's just address this okay to one dollar is a whopping 260x so let's check the market cap, see how realistic that is. Now I'm going to use CoinMarketCap, our old friend, and we can see that at the top of the market cycle here for Jasmine, it achieved a market cap of $1.12 billion. That's not small, okay? $1.12 billion. Uh, currently, we're sat at $177 million. I remember, I remember it's like a 260x to that magical dollar number. So let's just check this out on the calculator. Uh, 177 times 260 is like, is like $46 billion. $46 billion. Is it possible for Jasmine? Well, guys, anything in crypto is possible. And you're like, oh, well, that's the most useless answer ever. If you've not been in a bull market before, you won't understand that cryptos, no matter how good or bad, seem to do this crazy thing. And you get these crazy coins that are just designed for like, nothing like a dogecoin or a shiba inu or something like that these are kind of like the proof in the pudding guys that any coin has the potential to reach insane volumes jasmine does a very cool thing it has great partnerships already with sony great partnerships with bjit which apparently working with google which is bullish for jasmine somehow um i might be missing something significant there but jasmine is very cheap right now and it's cheap because it got sold off because it's a small market cap coin 
didn't get sold off because it's a scam. It didn't get sold off because of whatever, right? Stop getting that narrative in your head. It's worth having some exposure to Jasmine. It shouldn't be your whole bag because it's ranked like 120 in the market. If it's your whole bag, go and have a word with yourself, guys. This is a dangerous, dangerous game. You're too attached to this cryptocurrency. This should represent no more than 10% of your portfolio. In my opinion, that's not financial advice, but it's worth having exposure to this coin because it does something very cool. I talk about in earlier videos exactly what this coin does and why it's such a useful one. Now, a lot of people have been asking me where to store Jasmine. I have been using a Decent wallet, which is a biometric fingerprint wallet, it has a fingerprint scanner. It connects to your phone or mobile phone device, either iOS or Android through Bluetooth. You don't even need a cable, guys. If you go through the link down below in the description, you're going to be able to pick one of these up with a big discount as well using the House of Crypto. And importantly, you can check here the supported coins. We've got Jasmine. Uh, being supported on the biometric wallet and all the other wallets that Decent offers. So go through that link down below in the description if you want to get that. Make sure you get into the Inner Circle Discord. If you just want to get in the free Telegram, that's also fine. That's linked down below. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that Jasmine video today. If you did, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.